Hello and welcome to episode 23 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with Folktales Faction here in cycle 32, day 15. We've got about five days left of this bad tide here. And last time we started putting our mine in here and got some other stuff taken care of. And finally, at the end of the last episode, actually blasted through here. A couple of you guys got in my case for that, uh, <laughs> doing it this way, but that's that's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it fixed up and we'll move right along. And one of the other things we want to do is start to make a second district over here. And I think it's going to be best for that to be a bot only district, but we don't have bots yet. So that's going to have to be something that we take care of at a later time. All that being said, we also have some stuff to take care of over here. As last time I managed to drown the crops and kill them that way. And that's uh, quite obviously not something we want to do. So we're going to be working on fixing that problem. And I've got a couple of ideas on how we can make that work. So uh, just real quick, since we're already over here, uh, I want to go over a couple of the suggestions you guys made, and we'll talk about why we're going to do what we're going to do. Uh, first among which suggestion was made to just simply lower this mechanical fluid pump down to level with this and reroute the path around it, and that would just automatically shut it off when it's full. And yeah, that's simple. It's fine. But... I like that this is streamlined just straight through like this. I don't want to reroute the path. And uh, the way this is set up is already, it's, it's fine. I, I, I'm not really keen on messing with that too much. So uh, somebody else suggested that we could hook up this mechanical fluid pump to the same stream gauge as this guy, which I think we are going to do and give him the same settings, but that's not the only thing we're gonna do. We are going to uh, get this situated quite nicely here. Uh, this is set up to 2.88, and this is at 2.5. So we're going to we're going to echo those. We're just about as it were, and there we go. So once this gets to 2.88, this will shut off, and this will also shut off, which it is uh, currently not operating because I have it set to unpause. Uh, once it gets under 2.5, which the height of this is currently 2.65. This is currently on. So it probably actually does need to be shut off. So we'll pause it. And then we will let this naturally evaporate down to 2.5. At which point this will turn on and this will turn on. But I can hear you saying, why do we need this if we have this? That's the neat part. We don't. We can actually get rid of this fluid dump completely. And we can move on with our lives and never worry about taking up a beaver again. Just leave this in here. And this should be able to supply more than enough water where it won't be a problem. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and say bye-bye to that, which also means this medium tank can go away. We don't have to have that storage. Also, that doesn't really need to exist because this is right here. And uh, we can do much better things with this space like store some bad water. So that's going to go away. Now we have the opportunity to do something fun here. Uh, I'm going to put triple dynamites right here. And we're actually going to blast this out as well. And we're going to replace it with some floodgates. And the reason why we're going to do that is so we have a little bit more granular control over how water leaves. And we're just going to make this an entire wall of single high floodgates that we can either set at 0.5 if we want water to leave, or we can set to 1.0 if we want water to stay. And the reason we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on uh, triple speed so we can get through this drought here. Uh, but the reason we wanna do that is so we can do kind of one of the things that we talked about last episode, a couple episodes ago, and some of you mentioned in the comments, and that is to cycle water from here through the aquatic farm and into this and then back into here which in theory should make sure this is always full and that this gets all of the water at the end outside of what has to be here to keep this full. So if we set this at 0.5 and then crucially behind it here, set this as a row of dams that will set this at 0.66 uh, height. If this floodgate is down, this will never uh, basically ever be low. Um, Two point or not two point six six oh point six six, uh, two thirds of a tile of height. 
And if we want it to just be completely full, we just do this and that's fine. But uh, instead of leaving this at 0.5, which in my opinion is a little too low, a little too close for comfort in hard mode on these long droughts, long bad tide cycles, uh, having that extra, I guess, 0.16 of a tile of height is a little bit more of an insurance policy just in case something goes wrong. And that should end up being a very useful thing for us. So that's why we're doing that. That's just the way it goes. And we are going to go ahead and make that happen. Now, we also uh, have discovered that right here, maybe not the best idea to put the tank at the very bottom because this is a pit we could put a bunch of storage in if we really felt like it. And I think that is a fabulous idea. We have all these different things we want to have storage for. And we have these two grist mills, which, by the way, are supposed to be making cattail flour, both of them, because... We have our Dutch windmills making wheat flour. We've got, what, four of those? Maybe five? I think, it, okay, it's probably just four. But they should be able to handle that just fine. So what we are going to do is, uh, since this is already here and it already has bad water in it, we don't need to really mess with that right yet. But once I blast this out, we're going to put our uh, large warehouse underneath. And yes, I know it's not quite white tall enough but you put this underneath you got 1200 storage and you can put stuff like either raw wheat wheat flour etc so on and so forth because we always need to be storing more raw materials that's not something we've done a very great job of as you can see here and we'll be taking care of that should be a-okay and everything will be just fine so uh, let's check our stream gauge here 2.58 we should see this kick on as soon as it gets down to 2.5 but that won't be for a little bit of time now, now we're doing the fun part here by putting all of these explosives in place. Looks like everything is here. We just have to have them uh, come get all the water here, I guess. And that can go away. And make sure nobody's going to get blown up. Fire in the hole, etc. And now we can come in here and we can put in our large warehouse. And that'll be okay. But while they're building that, let's head back over here to the mine. Because now we should be operating. And we are. Now, we don't have quite enough beavers to really do everything we want to be doing here, but we do have five beavers going to work in the mine. We have our storage for our scrap metal and our treated planks. Actually, this is not... Okay, that is set correctly, but we need to prioritize by haulers so we can get everything else taken care of here. These guys will have no problem with all of that. Speaking of prioritizing by haulers, we did remove a hauling post, and I did promise to put it back. We have not done that yet. So just so I can keep my promises here, we're just going to stick that right there for now. Don't worry, this is all going to get redone. And it's going to be looking a whole lot nicer when we get around to it. We've just got a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. Probably shouldn't take on so many projects at once, but uh, the way these videos work, if you want to have anything done, you kind of got to do a little bit of everything all at the same time. And that is uh, just the way it goes. Now let's check and see on our work tab here. Uh, who is prioritized, who is deprioritized. And we should see, hopefully, hopefully, if I can find them. Yeah, the inventors are all super deprioritized. That's good. Uh, builder sets are all at least one level deprioritized, which is fine. And then we have hauling posts, and we now have five. And I don't have enough beavers to really have a tenant here, so I'm going to actually deprioritize that one. Uh, very slightly, but it should still be pretty much full because of how everything else is organized. So that is looking good. This is now 2.54. We'll see this kick on at some point. Uh, but one of the things we have to do now is we have to uh, go ahead and figure out what we're going to put down here. Up here, we have storage for wheat flour because these bakeries, of course, are making bread and cattail crackers. So we have cattail flour here for this guy and wheat flour here for this guy. That's fine. Cattail crackers, the natural uh, companion to the cattail flower, and then spatter dock because uh, we're growing it here is pretty much the only reason it's there. So if we have cattail crackers here, or cattail crackers here, excuse me, then it would follow that we should also have a storage for bread. However, we already have storage for 1,200 bread up here, but we don't have to have it there. We can actually just move that storage here and then uh, have other... Uh, satellite storages elsewhere. And if we get rid of this here, that'll free up some more farmland. Although, honestly, we don't really need it. We have plenty of food as is. 
I, I don't think we're going to be any in any danger of starving our beavers. But what I would like to do is try to take some of this land back so we can at least do something with it, whether that's put farming on it or recreational things. So we have plenty of space over the water, as a bunch of you have said in the comments, uh, that we could and should be building on. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause this. I don't really have to do it this way, but uh, I figured that would be fine. We'll just stick our bread here. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Before anybody flames me, <laughs> I caught it. We don't have any storage for wheat, so guess what? Guess what? This is wheat storage. <laughs> it's just raw. It's just raw wheat storage. I can't believe we didn't have that. All right, so never mind. But we will. We will be moving this. Will will. Wow, I can't even talk today. We'll be moving that. That is a okay. So now what we can do? We have all this other stuff going on. Uh, we don't have uh, metal blocks right now, so I am gonna avoid building any more large tanks until we uh, start to get some more of those. Uh, we just need to get our scrap metal game a little bit stronger here because we uh, we're struggling just a little bit. Well, that's done. And I was uh, exploding this out to be a little bit more, a little bit more space efficient here, give us a little bit more room for storage, etc. I just didn't get around to this before the mine started working, and you know how that goes. But uh, I'm having them bring supplies in for the mine. Then I think we don't have any bots yet, obviously, but we are going to want to have some sort of uh, life-sustaining capabilities for our beavers over here. Because we, we, this this is so far, this absolutely has to be separate. It's 172 blocks to the district center from here. It's not viable, kids. It can't, we, we, can't, we can't live like this. So I'm going to put just a medium warehouse here. And I'm going to have them store grilled potatoes. Because we have a lot of grilled potatoes. And since it's only going to be a small amount of beavers, we can be fine having a just a medium tank for water. And then uh, we, of course, have to have somewhere for them to live. We can have it six in a double lodge, nine in a triple lodge. Double lodge, of course, uh, can fit right here. But there's no rule saying we have to do it that way. That's just a uh, space in the ground that would be pretty convenient to put a lodge in. So I don't hate that. Let's just put that there, and then we can give them a little bit of a well-being thing. Um... I don't know, or maybe just a medical bed because they're going to get injured in the mine and uh, give them a path, of course, to get inside. And, of course, once this is all done, we will get a district crossing put in. I just want to pre-fill it with water and uh, grilled potatoes because, well, we kind of uh, kind of want to have it ready to go when we get these beavers in here so they don't have to be running around thirsty or what have you and keep in mind this is all temporary because this is all going to be bots once we get uh, the rest of this taken care of so we'll just get those put in just pretty basics pretty basic stuff uh, simple things like maybe a nice hammock right here so they can relax put a shrub where it's going to touch uh, everybody that walks through here i mean hopefully not the shrub directly touching you i don't know Shrubs might be uh, might be doing some weird stuff, but we will uh, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll move on with our lives, anyhow. So, uh, wow, we already we already filled up all these beds. Yeah, that's um that's an interesting problem for us to have. But we have uh, grilled potatoes, we have water. So now the next thing to do is going to be to put in a district center as our bad tide ends and cycle thirty three begins. So. I believe now this is going to work just fine. Put the district crossing here. Research that. And then we will, of course, have to have our district center. Uh, just because we're we're here, I'm just going to I'm just going to pop this right here. It's going to be fine. Not going to worry about it. And second district means that we have to name it, which means you get to suggest a name in the comments, and I will pick my favorites, run a poll, and then everybody gets to vote, and that's what the name of the new district will be. Keep in mind, this is eventually going to be bots running this, but it is not currently bots, so that doesn't mean the name has to be bot-themed or anything like that, but if you wish to use that to inform your decisions, then please go right ahead. 
So now, oh, look at all this. This They've done some marvelous work while we've been busy. Uh, also, has this turned on? It has. Okay, looking good. And this is set to 0.5, so that is why that's working. But it's at 2.66, which is nice. Uh, we have our clean water coming through. Uh, once this is running completely clear up here, that rhymes. Uh, I will open the floodgates and uh, let this fill naturally. Uh, I did see, by the way, while we're talking about this, uh, this kind of overflowing to the side here. Uh, we might not really do too much with that right now. We might not worry about it. But uh, we will, at some point, be able to uh, effectively deal with that. So I'm going to start diverting here. We do have our, our good water bypass. We don't have any uh, anything keeping it this way, so we're not going to open this yet. But that is one of the goals that I kind of penciled in for this episode, was to try and get this going. And in the meantime, we can at least let some water through. This is going to refill just fine. Uh, it's already working pretty nicely. And I think we're going to be just fine. We'll move on and take care of the rest of this stuff. So uh, we now have... Uh, district crossing, district center all done. Now we can import some beavers. We have 18 places for beavers to live. So guess what that means? We can have 18 minimum beavers. We'll just load this thing all the way up uh, so we can have workers in the district crossing. We'll have four there. We have two here. We probably won't need to have two here. But more importantly, we're going to have 10 in the mine. And they're going to be working on getting scrap metal. Oh, we've got our gears here. There are no haulers, but guess what? We're going to fix that. And we're going to go ahead and place a hauling post. Again, this is all temporary. Well, kind of. <laughs> it is It is still going to be here for the bots, but we're not going to be bound by a, by this layout forever. Just so, we're, uh, just so we're clear. But we have four working here, two working here. That's going to be six. We have ten of the mine and the sixteen, and we have eighteen total. So... Um, we are going to, we're not going to need that many of the district center. We can just go down to one and then that'll be 13. And then we're going to start off with three haulers because this is a small district, but we do want to have dedicated beavers for doing the hauling. So these guys in the mine can just do whatever. And by whatever, I mean, going mining to get the scrap metal, the folktales, uh, mine is a little slower than the iron teeth because you only have this basic recipe. You don't have the efficient mining with the dynamite. So that is... The way it is, looks like we can get all of our materials here. So that should be fine just as soon as we get the rest of these logs. Uh, should have no problem getting those imported. Should be able to keep our grilled potatoes and our water uh, completely stocked. Remember, this is temporary. We're not going to have thriving beavers here, so I'm not going to worry about having every single food available to uh, beavers. We just need to uh, actually keep them fed. And we have a lot of grilled potatoes, so I figured that would be the easiest route. Yeah, so they'll take care of that. Shouldn't really have to worry about it. Water level's continuing to rise here, continuing to flow into here. And it looks like this is ready to go as well. So we'll get that put in there, cross it all the way here. And that should help us out just a skosh right here. And how are we looking up here? This is all good. Collecting uh, water nicely. This should not overflow quite yet. Oh, we, we do want to eventually uh, come through here and get this all set up. But uh, keep in mind, the height here is the same as the height here. So if this is overflowing, it, it's not like we could really store that much more anyway. We just want to make sure that this is set up at 2.5 so it all flows through here and we're not wasting any. We do want to be able to take advantage of this, which seems to be the case. Seems to be working pretty good. We've got all this right here. We have to keep putting additional dynamite in. And I think I think that would be in our best interest to go ahead. I'm actually going to pause to do this. Just we have a chance of laying everything out. These are doubles. All right, we'll match with the doubles of our own here. And uh, before we detonate this, uh, I do need to come down here and do the rest of this. But... That will be fine. These are still the doubles. Yes, they are. Of course, it goes down here. It always... Oh, all right. I'm not going to lose sleep over logs and planks. That's fine. Treated planks, though. Treated planks. We might might want to have those. 
So I will go ahead and set this off. This one's not going to be affected. All right, so that's starting to look a whole lot better. We are going to be storing some water in here as soon as I open this. Uh, but, but we have to have this detonated as well. So just in the nick of time before the beavers start coming over here to do the rest of this. Now, this is just about ready for us to open. So I am going to go ahead and open this just so we start getting some water in here. We could have the end of our cycle, uh, our temperate cycle at least, pretty soon. You see the water is gradually rising here. That's fine. Uh, we have currently almost completely full water storage. I'm not really that worried about it. I really am trying to make sure this gets full or gets fuller. And the way this is set up, that should be okay. Uh, we might honestly not even need to put in an additional floodgate and additional dams or any dams at all. The way this is set up, uh, the level seems to be staying at a pretty constant 2.66, which means this is at 0.66, which is what I was going to have it when the, uh, the dams were in here anyway. So unless we start experiencing outflow issues because of uh, this guy putting too much in, I don't think that's going to happen. So we might actually be okay here. We could, in theory, blast this out and plant some more uh, cattails if we feel so inclined. Looks like we got some wheat here, which is nice. That's working well. How are we doing over here? Okay, we got a lot more injured beers. I definitely should I should have built more. I uh, should have built more medical beds. All right, so I'll just uh, I'll just put three more of these in real quick. Uh, again, there is now no longer a healer. We have this building called a herbalist, which I believe is only for curing the contaminated beavers. So uh, regrettably, these medical beds aren't going to be as useful, but uh, it's uh, better to have them than nothing at all. So now we have actually not a, any scrap metal being stored. I think they're probably just completely exporting it. Um, yep, they sure are. Okay, cool. I didn't even have to mess with it. So that's looking all right. Uh, we are flooding off of this side, which does mean uh, that I have been negligent in uh, getting this set up correctly. So I will put this down to 1.5. Uh, until we have this uh, brought up, this is as high as this is going to be able to be. It's not like it really matters for it to come down to this lower level, but we don't want it going off the side of the map. And uh, thanks to those of you who were adamant about informing me that was happening. I did see it, and then I immediately forgot. So... It's always good for you to post about things that you notice because there's a pretty good chance I saw it and then completely forgot. So we're on the same team. We're working to uh, hopefully make this better and better each time in spite of uh, what I may or may not do. So this is ready to go. So now we're going to have uh, a good bit more storage here. Should be uh, Should be looking pretty good here. I will go ahead and raise this up uh, because if this is full, it can overflow here, but I want to send more water through this side and I want to send more water through this especially to get this all taken care of. Uh, this right here needs to be blasted out, but uh, it's not really a huge priority right now. Again, we have completely full water storage. Excuse me, that is not an issue. Uh, this is slowly coming back. Our level here is... Not It's not completely full, but it's getting pretty close. This is looking good. We really need to blast this out more. That has not been a huge priority, again, because our uh, water storage is very full. Uh, it will be quickly, and I do mean quickly reduced, just as soon as we get going with uh, too much more of this. But I am very satisfied with how this is working. This is pretty much the perfect level, at least for this setup, I think. So... Uh, unless some sort of cataclysm occurs, this, I think, is going to be the setup we're just going to stick with, at least for right now. Got 16 injured beavers. So it's probably these guys. We've got, uh, yeah, six incapacitated beavers. All right, I guess we're just going to have to have, no, not contemplation spots. Might help the mind, but it's not going to help the body. So let's go ahead and get a, a couple more medical beds in here. And by a couple more, I mean there are three. So if we have a total of six incapacity, we need to have at least six beds, and this will give us seven. We might need more eventually anyway, but that's 
probably going to be okay. Oh, they actually also have food, regular food in the district crossing. No surprise there. I guess I uh, should have should have remembered that was going to be a thing, but you know how this goes. Day five and we still don't have an uh, approaching season warning yet. That's actually kind of surprising, but uh, not going to be that upset about it. Uh, this is looking good here. Uh, now I can go ahead and raise this. I will raise this to, I think, just 0.5. Try to get a little bit more in here. I know it's not going to cross here until we can actually have a uh, a thing set up, a channel through this, but that's uh, probably going to take a while. So what we will do instead is we will start getting this set up. Uh, we'll put our path going here. They should be able to reach the corner. It looks like they can. And we'll just do around the outside like this. But we don't need to let that bit go stale, so I will refrain from completing that. <laughs> Can't do it every time. So now this is going to allow us to get this whole thing taken care of. And while they can still get over here, we do want them to be able to uh, do all of this as well. In fact, I might go ahead and just keep this open. Come on, if I can click on this. Alright, are we going to get our new season thing? I feel like we should. Alright, bad tide in the three days. Yes, we definitely want to get uh, this. No, 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 no. I want to put a path here. That's going to allow this to go a whole lot better. Hopefully. Yeah, so now now I gotta play hardball. Now now I have to play hardball with this. I gotta I gotta try and store as much as I can. So yeah, so this is gonna go all the way up. This is going to go all the way up. That will be about as much as that can store uh, once it all goes down, which will mean this is going to get a lot more full. This I'm gonna put up at three. And we should Pretty, oh yeah, they're pumping out of this, of course. We should pretty soon... Yeah, see this start to continue overflowing here. Uh, that's going to get shut completely. This is now flooded. Uh, no surprise there. Yeah, this is going to just overflow here, and that's fine because it's not going off the map, so to speak. It's all staying inside. That's looking okay. Again, uh, this is not set up, which is why I have not run it through here. Oh my, look at look at this. We have uh, created a bit of a problem here. I should have seen that coming. That's why this is paused, so we can kind of assess the situation here. I don't really know. Don't really know what happened. Uh, I mean, in theory, it should just be this was overflowing, but uh, these aren't flooded. These aren't flooded, so I guess... Yeah, we're going to have to let some of this out, but that's why we have our floodgates down here. That is a-okay. We do need to make this bigger. I don't know if we're going to have time in this episode to do it, but uh, we do need to have that overflow here because they are just uh, cramming this completely full. <laughs> we got to do something about it, and we will. It just takes time. Uh, this is pretty full. This is about a, yeah, This is way more full than it needs to be. Um, yeah, I want to want to want to want to get this completely done here I think I think this is going to be safe to set off as soon as this the last guy leaves as long as they're not going to place any of those I think it should be okay we're gonna do it anyway there we go all right good nobody died always a successful operation that means we can get rid of this our singles down here it's gonna be nice having this full up I just check our overflow status here this is definitely overflowing so down to 2.5 it goes because we can always uh, use the water down here even if it is flowing out we want to keep it as full as we can and now we got to deal with this this is a full block height of water uh, yeah so that's um, 
definitely not ideal, but it won't be that hard to uh, won't be that hard to fix. I just got to put a pump up here, and uh, and let them pump it out. We will high prioritize that. That should be hopefully okay. This is very full, so we do know that current uh, water output can completely fill to overflowing uh, our entire thing here. So we definitely do need to expand this in a very very big way. Oh, and this is also full, which I'm sure is uh, contributing to that. All right, so am I going to have... Oh, good, this is actually completely done. Yeah, we'll leave some space there. They should have this finished. And then how many... Uh, okay, good, I have 133. That's fine. We'll put these here. I want to get this as close to done as I can before we start... Uh, doing too much crazy stuff here. I know we still only have 1.4 days left, but every little bit counts. And I think... I think if I do this right, they should be able to reach both of these just fine. Yeah. Now, if I can get away with this, that'll be really nice, because then I can have this entire corner uh, completely connected. It looks like I can. Yes. Now, will they do that? I don't know. These guys are very thirsty. Uh, we are still not overflowing off the side, so that's good. Even though we're overflowing off the side here, so, you know, it's it, it, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> we're going to lose it either way. But uh, we don't need to lose unnecessarily when we have unfilled storage, I think is the important lesson to take away here. How are we doing here? Still not... Uh, Still not storing any uh, scrap metal because I think we're just exporting all of it. But over here in the main district, we have one. We have 73 metal blocks. Yeah, we, we really got to get a got to get something else going here, which probably means we're going to come over here and start uh, disassembling this guy before too long. But thankfully, we're not using a ton of metal right now. Now we've got a pretty good handle on everything else. All right, so that gives us some more water storage there. Uh, working on this, so we'll let them finish that before we do too much in the way of detonation. We can do that one, though. That's nice and easy. Yeah, as soon as this is all done, which it is, um, I guess I don't really need to wait for them to come over here, but I kind of want to. Kind of want to. Kind of want to. I guess we could do just this little bit. And this isn't going to be... Uh, this isn't going to be bad water infected, so we do uh, have that advantage. Uh, this is very full. This is very full. I am going to have to close this because we're about to have our bad water. And that would be, well, bad if that got, a, that got overfilled. So this is, I guess, going to be fine. Oh, no, they're standing right there. I can't really... Uh, can't really get away with that. So we'll just wait. Yes, I know. We have 0.3 days. We'll be all right. Not going to be a problem. Just got to get everything hooked up and we're good to go. Mm, we got these last, last couple. That's going to be a, going to be a dangerous game. Let's pause here just so we don't make any horrific mistakes. And I think that is going to be all she wrote for getting water in an Alice check. Three, three, three. Raise that up to 2.5. Hold as much as we can. Uh, don't have any stray paths into the bad water, do we? I don't believe so. Check on this. Yeah, we uh, we need to try and get over here to put the uh, the rest of our little walls in. Or we could just, you know, detonate most of this out, but eh, I don't know. I like the idea of just making this a level area instead of uh, leveling the whole area. I don't, there, there is a, there's a difference. There's a distinction there. Well, that's fine. Oh, they just have this one, one left and it's almost done. Well, I guess that too. But more importantly, this is, I guess, uh, bad water proofed for beaver access. And that's hopefully not going to be that big of a problem. So, oh, I forgot. I, I got to shut these. Got to shut these. I mean, I, I guess I don't have to, but uh, this can fill up a little bit more, and I think we have the extra capacity uh, before these automatically slam shut. 
there's our bad tide. This uh, water level is very high, but it is not as high as possible. So it's kind of getting close. Kind of getting close. So our uh, our gates here should shut momentarily. We honestly, a couple of people pointed out, we could very easily. Uh, this is flooding yet. I, I have to uh, have to be sure it doesn't completely spill over. There we go. We could raise this to be higher than one percent because the amount of water we have here is not not really very uh, consequential. If a little bit of bad water gets in, concentration is not going to kill nearly as bad as it uh, did earlier. Look at this. We still have a <laughs> we still have like a seventy five eighty percent. Oh man, oh that's such a mess. Well, they are getting the. Uh, I guess they're getting the bad water out of this just fine if we uh, if we check. And I guess that was 305, 304. Yeah, I mean, it's it's working. It's at 2.86. Yeah, there we go. But we stored a ton of water. This actually looks pretty nice. We are going to keep excavating. Don't worry. We're going to be getting there. Uh, but I did think it would be nice to go back into single time mode. Check on how things are going here. Two incapacitated. Okay, that's an improvement. We got 10 beavers working in the mine. We've got, uh, oh, just the one working in the hauling post because I guess that's the least important job because everybody else is resting. Uh, we do have some water. We do have some food. It's looking okay. This is unpolluted, uh, which is good. And I think we can go ahead and uh, detonate this. So let's do that. And yes, I am in single times mode. That's why it was so slow. Uh, but we're fine. We'll go ahead and get them to get rid of the rest of these, I believe. This should be... Yeah, we'll just build our path right back here. I know we can get rid of this and get rid of all these. That'll be A-OK. -okay. And then we'll come back for the uh, spot where the ladder is. And that will also be A-OK. -okay. So that's looking good. Um... Ah, we had an idiot. Who was it? Who was it? They shouldn't be walking through the bad water. Ugh, that's annoying. I guess they might have come in here for water. Because these are... Well, they're not connected, so I don't know... I uh, don't really know how that would have happened. I don't know if you saw what happened to uh, our unwell friend Abe Sedair here. I'm assuming that's how that's pronounced. Um, do leave a comment. I'm very curious because he works at the district crossing, which means he's pretty much just going between here and other other places. Unless this is overflowing, which I don't really think it can. Um, I mean, I guess we probably should probably should blow this up a little bit here uh, just to try and reduce uh, what's going on. I do have the ability to do that. So we, we can at least uh, lower the channel a tiny bit. I, I really don't think it's that big of a problem. Stuff over here is looking all right. So this is this is going to be kind of a long process. No, no beavers over here, right? Okay, good. That's going to be fine there. All right. So we have water stored here. We have water stored here. We have water stored here. It's only a 14-day bad tide. So uh, again, we aren't going to have any problems because we have... Almost 12,000 water stored up. But uh, I did say at the top of the episode that we were going to store some more water here. And we will. I just need to build uh, build some spots for that to go. Uh, we still are flooded here. That was a, uh, a blunder, I guess. But uh, it is what it is. It happened. So all we can do is pretty much just deal with it and move on. One thing we can do while we are waiting... Uh, somebody pointed out in the comments that these Leos are not mirrored, and we have the opportunity to fix that. So I will take this one out, and this one out, and we will put them back in, in mirrored form, just so the entrances line up. Again, there is no reason we would have to do this. I just thought that would look nicer, and I think you guys agreed. 
So just a, just a fun thing for us to do. And that is going to look quite nice. Let's put our... Uh, there we go. Where is the hammock? Or is that a decoration? Yep. <clears throat> yep, it's a decoration. But that's fine. They're just going to chill in the hammock. That's fine. Nice and relaxing. But now that's fixed. Hopefully that uh, satisfies some of your burning desires. Don't make that weird. It doesn't have to be. Uh, moving on. We got some space here. There, can work on that. And uh, I was going to have this uh, moved on. Uh, apparently, the arrows just indicate uh, which direction uh, it builds into. I, I look. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in this game. I just apparently don't understand. But um, the arrow touches another arrow. That means this one can only be built when this one is built. If they're alternating different directions, they can approach from behind the arrow. Without staying on top of another block, then they're going to do it. So I guess... I guess we'll just... Oh, are you serious? <laughs> you have to get rid of this? Come on, man. All right. Time for another staircase. I guess that's okay. We'll just put it all here. We'll put it all here. That's going to be fine. Oh, they got to get to this anyway. I guess I should have... Uh, should I have them come back up on this side? Why is there... Okay, yeah, that was already there for a reason. Um, so easy thing for us to get... Any easy thing for us to do, excuse me. Just put a ladder here. Just put a ladder here, get it over with. <laughs> just, uh, yep. Just get this whole thing going here. That'll be fine. We'll just have this go all the way to here because we can... And we'll just have this kind of meet up again, because you guessed it, we can. And yeah, you know the drill. We have lots of dirt. Got to be able to use it. Got to have something to do over here. So we'll just do that. Give them something to occupy their time with. Got plenty of trees. We can have this set to uh, just pick all those out. That'll be fine. Nice and easy. Don't need to worry about it. All right. So out of the single time speed, that is okay. I will try to be respectful of your time and not slow things down too much or get bogged down in unnecessary garbage. We're still flooded over here, which is uh, regrettable, but it is what it is. Let's prioritize that by haulers, and then we will go ahead and start building some additional storage for water now that we have a little bit more in the way of metal blocks. We have six pumps. Probably won't need more than six ever, honestly. Uh, this is set up as a suspension bridge, so that's okay. But that does mean we can't build this way from it. We would have to have other stuff going on. So we clearly need somewhere to put water storage. It would be smart for it to be closer to where the beavers live. Now most of them live over here. So we definitely, definitely need to have some more storage over in this general area. I don't want to get rid of these dandelions because we kind of do need those. Uh, but what we got going on over here, these houses, uh, they probably don't need to be like this. In all honesty, we probably need to just move these somewhere else, but we haven't really... Uh, haven't really decided what that's going to be yet. So for right now, they're going to stay. But I think this could be a great place to put some uh, some water storage if we make the uh, platforms just a little bit higher. So one thing we can do is we can take a look at how big our space is here. This is only five wide. So that's not going to work for us to put two back to back to back. Oh, look, they're dancing. Clapping without music. That's very challenging. It's good uh, rhythm and internal tempo exercise if you were a, uh, I guess, high school band student. Had to do that all the time. But uh, we will go ahead, just because I can't really think of anywhere else to put it. Uh, we will go ahead and build a little bit of a structure here. Uh, this is three. This is six. We have a, uh, a pathway right here. So I will just go ahead 
and I will build space here. Put two of these large tanks, and just to be done with it, that will be fine. You can never have too much water storage. I mean, at some point you probably can, but uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna be too worried about that. We will let it do what it has to do. Still flooded? Absolutely, but we're down to about half a uh, half a block on that. So that's looking okay. We still don't have, still do not have enough maple syrup. Uh, but our raw chestnuts are completely uh, completely full. And I did say a while back that we were going to, at the very least, um, actually, do we even need the wood? Do we even need the wood? Oh, we have we have space for a thousand logs. Yeah, we can cut these down. All right, that'll work. Uh, but we will uh, we'll get these going. I'll just put in a couple of. Lumberjacks, we'll cut these down and plant uh, maple trees here. That should be just fine. Give us something to do. Yeah, we are going through the treated planks. We need to have more treated planks being made, which uh, you'd think I would have done before now, but I haven't. So I'll tell you what we can do. Uh, we have these guys here. Wait, is this actually... Ex hold hold the phone. This is accessible. Oh, because this is a ladder. Okay, cool. It looks ugly, but it works, so that's fine. Um, this can all go away. These two explosives factories uh, can become... I'm assuming wood, 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 uh, wood workshops. There we go. We'll get those built. Uh, there we go. Oh, but I need to make sure they don't go down into the drink to get to this stuff. I don't think they can even get down there anymore. Now I'm not so sure. Well, I guess we can just have them go ahead and get rid of that. Now, we do have a little bit of a conundrum here because this is a uh, this is an odd number of spaces here. And we're... Uh, not really uh, not really making sense with how we have this set up now that we're going to be removing this. So I'm kind of tempted to just for right now pause this building and uh, just leave it there to conduct power until we rebuild this whole thing, which we will do. Uh, but we just need to make sure that we're uh, doing what we can. I'm just going to pop this right here. I guess it just kind of has to go wherever it goes. And that's that's going to be it. Uh, we do have everything to build this, so no problems there. We'll just make that a priority, make that a priority, and we'll make a bunch of treated planks. Now I've got 298. Why, why do we have so many? I don't know. It, it was down to like 50 before. But we want to be able to make sure that we have plenty for the mine. Uh, these guys just cannot stay uninjured. I this is why This is why I wanted this to be bots. Because that's just, ugh. That's just a mess. All right, I guess I got to put more of these medical beds in. These beavers just cannot, cannot stay uninjured to save their lives. Well, I mean, mining is dangerous after all, so I guess that's uh, that's fine. It's fine. How are we looking on our water supply? Looking good. Pumping just fine. Now we have all this extra space here. That's going to be good. These are set to supply. Well, now they are set to supply, so that's looking all right. Yeah, other things on the list that I have not gotten to yet. Um, well, I didn't replace this with a wall of dams. I don't think we're going to have to, but we'll keep that in our back pocket if we decide uh, that's something we need to do later. Um, I did say that I wanted to try and get uh, more of this land built, but that is... Uh, taking a little bit of time. I mean, understandably, it is pretty far away for these beavers to be going, but it's going to be very worth it to have this uh, accessible here. Let this go. Let this go. And now that can go away. Just get rid of that because we don't need to waste our time waiting on that stuff to get done. And then we'll just slowly make our way back here. They can reach that. That's good. Again, just one piece at a time. We're not going to need the water. We're not 
going to need the water. There we go. Uh, that we're storing in here, but it's still nice to have. We can, however, come over here and uh, get these trees out of here that are going to be in the way of what we have going on. Um, I could and probably should, to be honest with you, uh, get rid of all of these trees up here and expand out to the edge with our uh, with our terrain blocks. Try to make a little bit larger of a reservoir, and then we also uh, also want to put this here, which I guess uh, we can do if we get going far enough. But we uh, kind of just need to get to the uh, walls of this thing ready to go here. Just going to take time to get it all done. It always does. One piece at a time. That's the way we do it. And then we'll blow this up. Get a little bit more uh, capacity here. And this can actually be all at the correct height once it's taken care of. And that'll be nice. We'll be able to store lots of water up here. And that will help us out considerably. So... Tab there. And then that means once these are in place, uh, we can pretty much get rid of most of this except this little bit right here because, of course, they have to have access to that. And that's fine. So that's going to work out just like that. I probably could have gone further out, but uh, that's the way that's going to work. We're going to get it done, and that will be okay. So once that's in place, we will also have to cap off the top of this, but this does have to be here for us to be able to do the rest. And then uh, we should probably also uh, lower this and make this a little bit taller. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. <laughs> Instead of a one high, this should be a three high. We've got some options. I might, uh, since this is already connected over here, I might actually come in from the side uh, and put in triple floodgates. Maybe, uh, maybe just right behind this, honestly, and uh, blast this down one level. We've got some options here. Set that up right like so, and then stairs. Whole lot of stair building going on over here. That's going to allow us to, uh, well, I guess I can't, uh, oh, the way this is set up, I'm going to have to, uh, just leave this alone and then, uh, come on off the side. Oh, I should have put that backwards, should have put it backwards, but I didn't. It's all right, we don't necessarily have to do it this way. We've got options. Just trying to get the rest of this in place here. Yeah, I gotta get the uh, gotta get this going all the way down. Yeah, they can come in up here. Yeah, they can still get to that. That's making progress there. One more here. They can of course reach this from up top or from down here, so I don't anticipate that taking very long. Making good progress here, good progress here. Bits and pieces once again. Uh, how are we looking here? Six incapacitated beavers. Not really that much of a shocker, is it? Well, I think next episode will be a push for bots. Would be a good uh, opportunity for us. We've got plenty of power reserve. We just don't have the manpower, the beaver power, as it were. But we are making a lot more of these treated planks. And hopefully, they'll help. We now have five of these factories going. We don't have enough of an input of scrap metal to do too much more than what we're what we're already doing. So I guess that will just have to be what it is. We haven't uh, haven't really run out of um, much of anything else. I do I do want to actually get down here though. We have the opportunity. In fact, I think what I'll do. Nope, that's not the right one. Come in right here with ladders, and then we can get over to this area. 
hopefully. Put a ladder here, and then I will put another set of ladders right here. We do want all of this to be this depth right here. And yes, I did try multiple times to install the Height Shore mod. It did not want to work. Don't know what's up with that, but I did try for those of you who have been campaigning uh, for me to put that one in. Uh, but this, actually, before we put uh, before we put the ladders in, before we finish that ladder, I'm just going to go ahead and blast it down where the ladder goes so I don't have to build it again. Uh, that'll be a double, and that'll be a single right here. And we'll go ahead and mark those as priorities. And the reason why I do this is so I can just put ladders all the way down, and as stuff gets exploded, they don't have to run around or build more ladders or whatever. They can just automatically get where they want to go. And I think we should be fine with that anyway. But that's also going to give us access to the bottom of the reservoir for uh, filling this in. I, we probably shouldn't, but there's also no reason to have all this uh, to have all this depth we can't pump out of because of the height of the pump. Unless we want to segment this, but that's something that honestly I don't think is necessary probably be a waste of screen time for us to do too much more with that uh, because this series is getting a little long on the tooth it's episode 23 and we still have not done anything with bots yet here and the uh, the end game stuff for the bio beavers we haven't really touched either so uh, we've got our work cut out for us we've got plenty to get to and uh, I would like to try and avoid wasting too much time we can uh of course, not rush through the end of the series, but we do want to make sure that we are making good use of the time that we do have. So, uh, this whole thing is going to be set with the doubles. We should be able to reach once these ladders are all in place. That should help with that. Uh, this will be a single. This should be reachable. If it is not reachable, then we will build a path, and that will be okay. In fact, I am going to go ahead and put this path here that should make them reach all that. And then, yes, we will blast this area down. We just have to be able to get to it. Uh, and currently, currently that is a problem because we have all this wheat in the way. But in case you haven't noticed, we have a lot of it, so I'm not going to lose sleep over just uh, saying, hey, come get rid of this. We uh, don't need it. So let's just do that so we don't have to wait because we are getting pretty much to the end of the episode here. I want to try and make sure we have enough stuff accomplished so we uh, we can be successful in uh, feeling, well, accomplished <laughs> this episode. So I'm going to blast this down to the level of the uh, wheat farm here. And this will be... Uh, I guess I can pretty much almost get all of this uh, blasted down, but uh, I guess we don't need more wheat. We definitely don't need more wheat. So I think with this straight edge here, before they get too comfy, can all be triples. That I think would make the most sense. We'll do that here. And then this can just be a single and, uh, oh no, that needs to be more than a triple. That needs to be four. Well, we'll get it figured out. Not gonna be that big of a deal. This, this can legitimately just be a triple and be fine. And so can this and this and this. And this just has to be a double. They should be able to get to pretty much all of this. With the exception of a couple of these that we might have to, uh, might have to figure out something. I, I don't know. I guess I'll just put stairs here. Why not, right? Might as well. Might as well just do it. All right. So everything else is looking pretty good. Uh, we obviously did not get to everything today, but uh, you know what? <laughs> I think for right now we can just leave this water pump here. I think it's gonna be. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fine. Hopefully it's not something we have to uh, revisit too much, but. Uh, I get the feeling it's going to be something we're going to be glad that we did. Or we left in, at least.
All right, so that'll get us there. This is in place, minus this one. Uh, so that's going to allow us to shove a whole bunch of water through here and through here if this is closed. Uh, of course, we will be able to get rid of this floodgate. In fact, uh, we can already do that, but I can't send anybody down there to get anything because it's going to be a going to be a suicide mission. So we're not going to do that. That's going to be a bad idea if that actually ends up uh, being a thing. So we'll let them finish this. And then, my friends, this upper level will be quote unquote complete minus this little bit here that we still kind of need. But we will be able to store a whole bunch of water and that's going to be nice. We'll be able to take advantage of that in the next cycle, uh, which we will be in in five short days. But that will not be this episode because we are running out of time. And I am running out of the ability to talk and play video games, I guess. Uh, some sort of something going around again, but uh, we will move through it anyhow. These guys are very thirsty, very hungry. It's because they are having to walk long distances because I didn't want to build extra districts. That's my fault. I recognize that, but we will do what we got to do. Let's get these ladders in because I, I do want to have I do want to have this taken care of before we get uh, we get too bent out of shape here. Um, none of this is accessible anywhere else, so I guess we can go ahead and blow this up. I don't think it's going to kill anybody, as long as nobody goes down the ladders. Beautiful. And now that's connected. Looks nice. This is ready to go. That's ready to go. And since we have our ladders here, we can just come right back and do this no problem. Absolutely A-OK. -okay. That's ready. That's just fine. Uh, this is going to take some finagling to get uh, <laughs> to get all this done, but I guess we can just watch them do this while I get you guys out of here. So yeah, hopefully I uh, enjoyed the improvements we made today. Still lots to get done, obviously, but uh, getting irrigation, I guess, fixed, fixed for the second or third time is always good. We got our uh, water capacity expanded to 14,000, looks like. And there's still more storage we could have, but that's looking okay. Yeah, we did a little bit of aesthetic stuff. We fixed a couple small things. Finally had a second district for the mining, which, by the way, still needs a name, in case you forgot. So uh, feel free to leave suggestions down below. And I'll pick my favorite run a poll. And then you guys can pick among those or what we end up calling it which I think is going to be a whole lot of fun. So hopefully, hopefully they can get done with this soon, because I do want to have that explosion, I guess, kind of be the last thing that we uh, we mess with today. Everything else, though, is looking good. We've got four days left. There's still plenty of water here to be pumped. Uh, we don't have any more storage place to put it, but we will, uh, I suppose, get there in due time. Why is this not connected? I'm pretty sure I had a reason for that, but yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, just, uh, we'll just leave it like it is. That's fine. This is still not, uh, oh, okay, I guess that's still connected, that's fine. Uh, this, I can actually, yeah, we can blow this up. We don't have enough dynamite, but <laughs> we'll have to wait to uh, to make some more. Just chilling over here. So that's fine, we got our uh, bad water storage. We don't need extract storage uh, over here, although it probably would be nice to have a place for these guys to... Uh, to dump theirs. Currently, the only storage is over on this side. So, yeah, I guess. Oh man, it's, I see. I want to keep this in case this overflows again. But um, ugh. Oh, that is such a drag. <laughs> oh, I know how we can fix this. I know how we can. I don't know why it paused the game. We don't have to do that. So here's what we <laughs> see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be smart today, folks. Uh. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll make a uh, make a thing for extract. We'll put a, uh, put a uh, what do you call it here? Yep. And then, oh, yes, yes, friends. <laughs> we will put a stream gauge. I guess I can just put that right here. And if this stream gauge gets to maximum height... We can open these floodgates until it gets... I don't know why I didn't think about that as an overfilling failsafe. I just think of it as a, oh, you don't have enough water. 
thing. So that really that really should have been something I thought of earlier, and I don't know, maybe somebody suggested in the comments and I just did not read it correctly. But that, that, friends, <laughs> that's going to help us out considerably. Oh, this is another one of those things that's going to have to be a triple and then something else. Oh, well. Uh, we can go ahead and set this off. I know we don't have enough in the way of... Uh, What's this stuff called? Dynamite? Yep. <laughs> Don't have enough in the way of dynamite to make that happen. And this is actually ready to go. They can just come up and do that from the side, so... That will work just fine, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. But look at that, we got all sorts of space here. Yeah, and this episode's already now <laughs> over an hour, and I was going to try and stop it, but... What can you do? This is done. Let's go ahead and... I'd get this connected here. So now that's connected. Ah, ah. That should not have happened, I guess, just because these are just set to uh, default here. All right, so, oh, here I, here I get to go again, trying to figure out the math for this when it really should just be super simple. The height, floodgate height, high threshold. I, th these are just, they're too close together. I don't know why. I always want to think the one underneath. The one underneath does not control it. It's the one above it. Okay. Flood height height above high threshold is going to be... We'll just go to 2.5. High threshold is going to be 2. Point, we'll, we'll do 2.98. Uh, 2 Low threshold height is going to be 3. So if it's below... If it's below two point, say two point nine, uh, we'll open it or we'll close it. I think this is how this is going to work. We'll close it. If it's below, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try this. <laughs> We're just gonna leave this like this because I I think I have that set up right. Oh man, I don't know why this always breaks my brain, but it it just it just does. You, you, you just you you gotta you gotta bear with me, folks. <laughs> All right. So below low threshold. Wait, how did I have this set up? Two point nine. Yeah, there we go. Two point nine below low threshold. Set it to three. I think we already did this on this other side, and I just completely forgot. But that's fine. This is set to two point nine eight. Okay. And then that will be two point five. So I think I've done that correctly. It should automatically just emergency spillway, let water out, and that will solve our problems. Hopefully. That's done. All right. Last little bits of dynamite. And then that will be that. We'll add a lot, a lot of nice capacity. But yeah, uh, that's it for this episode. I know it might have been a little chaotic, but hopefully uh, fixed enough stuff that you guys were wanting to see fixed. These are all cut down, which means this can now be unmarked for cutting and then we can plant maple trees instead of those guys and we don't have a uh what's that thing called a forestry forester not forestry so we'll uh i guess find a place to put one of those which i don't have i guess i will just uh, get rid of four of those trees and we'll uh We'll just place one of these, not, not a tapper shack at Forrester. But anyway, that's going to be it. As always, I do appreciate your comments and uh, all of your uh, ideas and stuff. I do always read them, and I make note of things I think will be helpful for us in each episode, as uh, you might have seen from some of the stuff we accomplished uh, that you guys directly suggested or otherwise uh, wanted to see done. So I do always look forward to reading those. And of course, want to take the opportunity to thank the Beard Boosters for their contributions, making it possible for me to keep doing these videos. And more importantly, keeping the garbage ads out of here that nobody wants to see and uh, sell product services, etc. that are either not something people want or not something people should want. Anyway, I don't like seeing that stuff. I don't want to pollute the internet with it. And I don't want you guys to have to sit through all that garbage. So instead you get to sit through me talking, which may or may not be a may or may not be an improvement, but at least you're not getting sold something. So appreciate those folks. As always, 
you as well, even if you're not part of that. That is A-OK. -okay. I'm just glad that you're here and glad that we get to spend this time together. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.